Great customer experiences strongly reflect the customer's identity. Right? Going back to the 60s, uh, a guy, Jean Baudrillard, a French philosopher, said there are three reasons why we buy something. Right? What it does, the use value, uh, what it costs, or the economic value of, of that thing. But more importantly, the sign value, which is really, what does it say about me? And it's that last one that is the most influential when we decide what to buy. So, to give you some context, does anyone have one of these? A polo? No one's got a polo. Well, I think the polo is a great car. Maybe this explains why you don't have a polo. It costs about £11,000. Uh, it's small, easy to park, reliable, fuel efficient. What, what more could you possibly need than a polo? Right? So it's got that functional value all sorted out. It's got that uh, economic aspect of it that's very appealing. The problem is, though, when you win the lottery, you don't buy a polo for every day of the week to celebrate. Uh, you don't want to go, hey, I won the lottery and I just splashed out on a new polo. You would buy something like that, which costs the same as 3,000 polos. Now, you can't put your Aldi or Lidl bags in the boot, probably. It's going to break down all the time. You don't want to leave it anywhere. Functionally, it's pretty much useless. But it makes a very powerful statement about the kind of person you are, hence the outrageous cost. Um, it turns out you can actually take this advice quite literally and just reflect the identity uh, of your customer and do pretty well 150 million bottles sold just by writing Dave uh, on the packaging. <laughs> Amazing. 